Welcome everyone. Today, Property Lim Brothers is back in the studio to present to you a 2.5 storey semi detached. So, we're nestled in the heart of District 19. We're right within the Serangoon Gardens landed enclave. So, this home, located just a short walk away from the upcoming Tavistock MRT station, expected TOP is at the end of this year. So, this is a triple nine year leasehold property. We are sitting on a very generous land size of 3,767 square feet with a build up area of 8,597 square feet. So, if you're looking for something that is brand new, a Cat 4 kind of semi-detached home right within the District 19 area. Stay tuned with us for this studio shoot and later on we'll also go check out some of the surrounding amenities. Maybe let's just share with you some of the house spec of this unit. So this is developed by Frex Capital and this is a 2.5 storey semi-detached with a mezzanine level. It's located in District 19 and it's located less than 5 minutes walk away to the upcoming Tavistock MRT station. The asking price for this unit is 8.88 million which is equivalent to the PSF of 2,336. Uh, the expected TOP will be in December 2023 this year. So our land size as mentioned earlier, 3,767 square feet built up to 8,597 square feet. The land width is 12 meters in the front and 11.3 meters at the back. Plot depth is 26.2 on the left side and 33.1 on the right side. So the tenor is triple nine years starting from the year 1954. So the facing of our house is set in a northwest facing. We do have five bedrooms, five bathrooms. We have two parking lots. We also do have a pool along the side of the house. So in terms of location-wise, I feel that we are fairly well connected with the upcoming future Tavistock MRT, less than a 5 minutes walk away from us. So this will belong to your cross-island line and expected completion will be in about 2029. So I believe conveniences like this is quite a rare find since landed homes being in close proximity to MRT. And adding on to the convenience, we also do have My Village at Serangoon Garden. So there's a very comfortable walking distance away, just about 5 to 8 minutes walk. Over there, you'll find lots of amenities such as your supermarket as well as eateries. And for more local fare, you'll be able to find it at your Chom Chom Food Centre and Serangoon Gardens Market. And that's also where the iconic Serangoon Gardens Way roundabout is located. So surrounding there, you'll find lots of shop houses offering services as well as lots of dining options in the area. And if you're driving, we're actually located right next to Ang Mokyo Avenue 3, so that leads you directly to CTE. That's also where you'll find a French international school. And for families in the area, we do have Ta Chiao Primary and Serangoon Garden Secondary School within the 1km radius of our unit. So heading towards the east, that's also where you'll find your Serangoon Gardens Country Club. So if you're someone who does not want to live too deep within a landed enclave, then this property may be a great option for you. So moving on to the floor plan analysis, so upon entering your brand new semi-detached, a charming facade greets you. And due to the unique nature of this land, you're able to have an ideal space to craft your personal garden. And the inviting front porch is cleverly designed for you to accommodate parking for two vehicles. So right beside the car porch, you do have this decking area. This versatile area offers ample room for setting up an additional dining space, perfect for hosting delightful BBQ sessions and outdoor gatherings. So right beside this, you have a luxury swimming pool which is a 2 by 14 dimension and as you step inside the house you will be greeted by this spacious living area and the flooring are of marble material from Stelio Grey so seamlessly connected to the living room is your dining area this open concept layout provides a welcoming environment for both social gatherings and additionally a well-placed powder room is adjacent to the dining space so moving on to the mezzanine story you can see a family area there where you can enjoy a movie nights or just chill at the corner this space coexists with the common bedroom, a study room, creating a harmonious blend of utility and aesthetics. And as you take your lift up to the second level, that's where you'll also find another three ensuite bedrooms. So starting off at the front of the house, that is your master bedroom. Size-wise, it's extremely huge. After fitting in your king-size bed, you'll still have much space for your cabinetries as well as a study area. As you move towards the back of the house, that's where you'll have your junior ensuite as well as your other common bedroom with attached bath. 
all of these are also done up with very nice premium fittings and finishings. So let's take the lift up to the attic level. So at the front of the attic, that's where you do have an entertainment space. Alternatively, you can convert this into another home office or another bedroom. The attic level is actually served by a Jack and Jill bath that is shared with the common bedroom. It's also where you'll find patio spaces in both the front and back of the house. So I think it's a very good balance in terms of the internal and outdoor space planning. So maybe let us share with you on the interior specification for this 56 Kingswear Avenue. So the entire living and dining area is decked with stilvia, grey marble featuring delicate white veins. And in the wet area of the house, such as your laundry, helper's room, wet kitchen, and the WC, you will find grey homogeneous tiles. Timber flooring is also in a beautiful oak shape which graces the bedrooms, entertainment rooms, family rooms, staircase and the study areas. So all the rooms are featured with AC spanning from the living room to the dining room and in each bedroom. So a touch of sophistication also defines the common bathroom which is also decked in grey porcelain tiles while the powder room is also decked with grey marble flooring covering both the walls and the floor. So for the external spaces of the house, the moment you drive into your home, your car porch and driveway, this is done up with granite flooring. Heading towards your swimming pool, your internal floor is actually laid with a glue mixture kind of mosaic tiles. So heading on to your roof terrace and balcony space, that's where you'll find grey homogeneous tile flooring. So your entire home is also connected with a traction lift from Printec and this is great for ensuring the ease of movement throughout the house. I think it's also very good for future proving because in such a case, you do not necessarily need to have a granny's room on the ground floor. And for your aspiring home chefs, the kitchen is actually done up with Fisher & Peckle appliances. So this include your oven, microwave, gas hop as well as a hood. Before we show you the site of 56 Kingsway Avenue, let us talk a little bit more about the pricing analysis here. So when you're looking to buy a landed house, there's often four types of landed houses in Singapore for you to consider. The first cat will belongs to 30 years old that requires a rebuild. So for the cat 2 category, it's between 20 to 30 years old, which is fairly dated and requires some major renovation or reconstruction. So for cat 3 category, we have lesser than 15 years old, which is fairly new and some which will only require some A&A &A to be done. For cat for which belongs to the newly built from developers or freshly reconstructed with little or no work to be done. So let's say you're looking to buy a semi-detached home and what are the options available for you? So let's take a look around the District 19 area where you can find your Serangoon Gardens landed enclave. So around the Serangoon Gardens landed enclave, the Cat 1 homes are asking at around the 6 mil quantum for a larger land size. So if you were to do a full rebuild assuming the land size of 3,700 square feet, this is how the numbers will look like. To achieve a similar build up of 8,500 square feet, the rebuild cost for 8,500 square feet will be multi multiply by $400 per square foot which will be equivalent to 3.5 million. So adding on to the rental cost of the rebuild for about 24 months, your rental amount will amount to about 240,000. This will add up to a total of about 8.64 million. So now if you're looking for a cat 2 homes around the D19 zoning, these are the homes that are about 20 years old and this home usually requires some a and or some guard renovation. The cat 2 homes are asking about 6.5 million quantum and if you were to break down the number for the ANA and the guard renovation, this will be the numbers. So assuming the 80% of the rebuild cost is about 2.72 million and adding on that to your rental cost for the guard renovation and ANA time, this will take you about 12 months. And all in all, it will total up to be about 2.8 million plus the 120,000 and also plus the purchase price of 6.5 million which will total up to be a 9.42 million. So however, you are looking for a brand new house that you can instantly move in today, you just have to top up a little bit and this will save you 2 years of rebuilding time or 12 months of ANA or guard renovation. So furthermore, adding on to the fact that Frax Capital has taken into account on the future proving factors of this entire house, this presents a great opportunity if you're looking to purchase a brand new triple nine years landed home in this area. And aside from Serangoon Gardens, let's now take a look at what are some of the prices for the brand new semi-detached homes in the other districts. So starting off with District 15, one of the most popular landed zones in Singapore, so closer to Yunos MRT 
area, land sizes there range between 2,003 to 3,000 square feet with an asking price of 7.68 to 9.36 mil. The build-up size for these homes range between 5,005 to 6,300 square feet. Next up, we have District 20, so that is in your Upper Thompson area. A brand new semi-detached there has a land size of 3,200 square feet with a build-up of 6,800 square feet and is asking close to the $10 million mark. And lastly, in your Prime District 10 Tanglin area, a brand new semi-detached there has a land size of 2,593 square feet, built up to about 5,700 square feet with an asking price tag of $8.1 million. So coming back to where we are, 56 Kingswear has the larger than average size at 3,767 square feet and the largest build-up at 8,597 square feet. So this is really hard to come by in terms of build-up size for a semi-detached in Singapore. Furthermore, we are located within the Serangoon Gardens Landed Enclave which is a very prime area just adjacent to your city fringe areas and less than a 5 minutes walk from the upcoming Tavistock MRT station. So if you're looking for great convenience and you love to have big spaces for your family, then I believe our unit at 56 Kingswear Avenue presents a very nice opportunity for you and your family. So now enough of the numbers, let us head up to the actual site and show you the entire place. So this is 56 Kingswear Avenue. So Jonathan, I want to share some of the benefits of buying something new like this. New property as compared to resale option, you're already buying the maximised property. And also the developer has also future-proofed the entire house such as the leaf in the house and all the bedroom has ensuite bathroom which allows for multi-generational living which is better as compared to retrofitting an older property. And I think the second benefit is that although Cat4 homes do come in at the highest PSF across the four categories, aside from paying for the additional build-up space, you are also getting the developer's expertise as well as the time from their architects. So they've already done all the groundwork for you and put in all of the reconstruction costs that it could take. So probably if you were to take on an entire rebuilding project by yourself, that could take you about two years. But before that, you will also have to do lots of groundwork, your site inspection, all your soil tests and getting all of your relevant approvals from the authorities. So that's going to definitely take you a couple of months in terms of all the paperwork. So of course, if you do have the luxury of time and do have some spare funds, then definitely you can consider to rebuild something that you can truly consider yours and it's something that's fully tailored and catered to your family's needs. But of course, if you are in a time crunch or you're just looking for something simple where you can just move in immediately, then looking for homes like this that are ready for move in by end of this year, then I think this proves to be a very valuable alternative. <laughs> So let's head on to the other side. So that's where Hemsley Avenue is. So we'll show you where the pool will be located. Alright, so this is the site of the house. So this is where Hemsley Avenue is. At the front here, this will be your car porch area. At the back, that's your house. And you also have your 2 by 40 meter swimming pool along the side here. So aside from all these, there are also other future proving factors to this home. So Jonathan. So the upcoming master plan that is happening around the Serangoon Gardens is the 8 MRT line in Singapore which is the Cross Island line and we are also around 5 minutes walk to the Tavistock MRT station. So this brings additional convenience and accessibility to the residents staying in Serangoon Gardens. And I think the second factor we have here is actually around the fringe of Serangoon Gardens that's where your Kensington Park condo is. So that condo is put up for on block so this is the third time it has gone for on block. Reserve price is maintained at $1.28 billion. So of course if this goes through then lots of exciting developments coming up. I think we can expect to have a new project over there. And I think this presents opportunities as well in the area. So aside from having new residents here, this will also bring up the level of interest for the Serangoon Gardens area again. So alright, that concludes the end of this home tour and just to summarise, this plot of land is sitting on a triple nine years lease hole with a land size of 3,767 and a build-up size of 8,597 square feet with 5 bedrooms and 5 bathrooms. So we are located less than 5 minutes from the upcoming Tavistock MRT right within your Serangoon Gardens landed enclave where there are a plethora of amenities all around. And if you're looking to buy a brand new semi-detached in District 19, and you want to save costs on renovation and time and want to keep your quantum below the $9 million mark Do give our listing managers a call, their numbers can be found right down below Do also hit a like and subscribe on our YouTube channel We're also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok I'm Cheryl I'm Jonathan Property Lim Brothers, Brothers always, always happy, happy to, to show you the place, place. Let's say, So let's say you are buying, looking to buy a little like that 
So let's say you're looking to buy a brand new one. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say you're buying the. Uh, and for the aspiring home chef, the entire homes are. Ah! And furthermore, being in the Salangi. Salangi. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, because I really like my brain skip like. Oh, it's 69. <laughs> 8597. 8597. Dibuji, dibuji. 